Hello my treasures, it's time to break some records with Tony Combo Rogue. For this one, I tried three different variants, one using the combo package, one using a miracle package, and one using the secret pack. Miracle felt the most consistent on one rate. However, ironically, the combo felt most consistent in a combo rogue package. This was mainly due to the fact that Record Scratcher allows you to refresh your mana crystals and allows you to build this up over time instead of relying on having two additional shadow steps to burn your opponent's deck and then giving yourself your deck back which gets into the general idea of this deck you're trying to get record scratcher online as quickly as humanly possible where it can refresh five mana crystals so on turn eight you can use kelthus attack with your weapon that will allow you to put down tony which then will allow you to put down the jailer and then you use something like shadow step while having both the combo package and concoction packages in order to survive until that turn for the molding guide of the deck you are going to be looking for record scratcher the quicker you get this online the easier the combo will actually be thus making it the most important card to keep in your open hand Outside of this, you are going to be looking for any early game removal tools. This is mainly going to be through things like the concoction package, and finally some type of draw power through things like Gone Fishing or Ghostly Strike. Now with that all being said, let's look at some game. Alright, time for a game against Warrior. Let's see what they have in store for us. A lot of people are playing Warrior. I don't know how much the buffs are actually mattering in the long run. Oh, actually this open hand besides Shadow Step is not that bad. We're going to get rid of the Ghostly Strike too. Probably should have kept that to be honest. That because <laughs> our op this hand looks a little bit worse than that. So Rift Warrior maybe. Um, we don't really have a game plan for th the problem with this combo is even if we manage to pull off it against Warrior, if they have Brawl, we might be in a bad position. It depends if they're running Brawl or not. We're not putting down any minions, so we're just going to coin out Record Scratcher. Because normally on turn, well, that's a turn three or two play, depending on how you want to look at it. If you have the coin on turn two, you can coin it out and then use Serrated Bone Spike, get rid of whatever's on the board, and then just go face with the weapon. Or you can actually use the weapon later as removal. Because all you really do need to do is attack at least once with it. I'm assuming there's some version of Control Warrior that's just using a bunch of rifts. I really wish that deck would get some type of big payoff. I I don't understand why there wasn't a legendary attached, but I'm assuming that's probably going to be in the mini set. Okay, let's get the destruction and then bubbling. Probably should have went for the draw power, to be honest. All right, they're going to armor up and uh, I kind of want to see what we can grab. Going for the damage, probably. Hazy. Hazy is a lot stronger than I make it out to be in a lot of these replays. But you live and you learn. Towards the end of testing, I want more for hazing. And I think my win rate went up because you can generate a bunch of random threats that would have been no problem. Right, and let's get rid of that. I do not want to deal with that. Then we can draw two. Come on, combo. Uh, there's one, one out of uh, three minions that we need. All right, putting down Ghoulish. I guess we can draw two more cards because we want to. That isn't combo, and that isn't either. Boom. Uh. What could Moon give them that could be a problem? It wouldn't be too big of a problem. There's serrated number three. Do we really need serrated number three is the question. And see what we randomly generate here. AZ is interesting. We can do three face damage. Destroys that minion. See what we randomly get. Uh, We could use hazy number two. Let's actually do that. Draw some cards. Draw a card. Breakdance isn't bad. Still missing a few cards left in our combo. I mean, they, they had to put that card down to destroy everything, but man, does it feel bad to place that down when you uh, don't have any... Oh, there we go. We actually, Gone Fishing might have been better to grab in the long run, I should say. Because if we had grabbed Gone Fishing, we might have been able to grab something else from the... Oh, uh, well, no. We'd only be guaranteed one thing from the bottom, and then we'd just be frustrated that we can't draw the other. 
combo piece from the bottom if we saw it like that. I, I mean, that doesn't necessarily stop us. There's Shadow Step. We can just ping that, I guess. Might as well use one of the spinners, just put it down. We're at 7 refresh, then can Breakdance to opt or put this back into the hand. The next turn put down it again, if we really need to. We're just trying to protect our face in case they have a second Trench Stalker. Because, actually, what in Warrior could kill us if they had a second one right now? Bash, I guess. Bash would have been... Uh, no, it's 9 mana, so never mind. They need an audio amplifier in order to use Bash on the same turn. I don't like the position we're in because we're at 11 HP. <laughs> but depending on what we actually top deck... Okay, they're going to draw 2. Hopefully it isn't anything big. Our Slider. Okay. I mean, they can attack, but that's not going to do too much. Okay, they're mostly strike. Let's destroy that. Probably should have actually hit their face, but whatever. Draw a card. Anything cool? Okay, ghostly strike number two. Anything cool? Oh, Putricide would have been so nice. Like, a couple cards earlier, but it, it's fine. Let's try to get it to a point where they'll play down a Brawl. Because I don't really care which one of these survive. Brawl puts them off of Trench Stalker, which is always nice. Zilliax, okay. I, I mean, that makes sense. They are Menagerie. Okay, that's annoying, but we can make it work. All right, how many cards do we have left in the deck is the question. Black Rock and Roll. Okay, we need to get the ball rolling. Oh, there we go. We can get the ball rolling. I'm going to have to attack that. Go face. And now, behold, the king of the undead. Oh. I guess afterlife, I, the jailer. And then we bounce everything back and say goodbye to your rock and roll. We could even put him back down, but I'm not going to. Actually, probably shouldn't put down Putricide. To be honest, uh, probably was a bad decision. Oh, well, there's the brawl. I had a feeling that was in store for us at some point. <laughs> I mean, not the worst option to survive. Would have pref much preferred it to be um, anything else, though. Astalor. Ow, Astalor. Just what we need, because we can armor up a little bit, put down a bunch of minions. We could even put down Tony, but actually there's really nothing in our deck that would them win if they drew into it. Astalor would have been the closest. Wait, do you got Trench Stalker number two? Because I don't think that stalking is going to do any good to you. <laughs> okay, there it is. Okay. Oh no. Ah, we're still out of lethal range. That's perfect. 2 HP. Oh. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, time for a game against Paladin. Let's see what they have in store for us. It's probably going to be some type of pure Paladin. Well, actually, all Paladin decks right now are pure Paladin. I actually really like this opening hand. I think I'm going to keep everything here. Probably not going to do anything on turn one, just pass it to them, depending on what our top deck is. Oh, never mind. We do actually have a turn one play. That's perfect. Now, that is an interesting card. <laughs> if it was later into testing, we have ETC to go into it. But I think this version didn't have it. Or go into test, I mean. Let's go with Hazy. Hazy can actually win us the game just straight out, depending on what we randomly generate. I had a game where I generated some type of heal and that prevented them from killing me for one turn and then I turned it around. Okay, Jailer. Not technically what we want to see right now, but it isn't too bad. We could, in theory, use Bone Spike and then use the weapon there, but I guess I didn't catch that. Because then we could have used the one damage ping on their face and then drew a card too. Oh, Starlight Groove. I, I don't think I've seen that card yet. Except for on like day one. Okay, so we have basically three out of the five pieces that we really need for the combo. Kind of want to use this just to prevent them from doing anything. We probably should have waited to use this card until it was on a key turn. Because I don't know necessarily what they're actually playing. This could delay it so we can find out. Cool, gone fishing. Okay, how do we want to do this? I think we just go face. And then, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter if we don't get potion belt it doesn't matter if we don't draw a card there we could have also used serrated and then go on from there but yeah let's get the draw card and i guess hazy would have preferred to get a lot more of the destroy effect because 
Paladin, doesn't matter what version of it, is really, really annoying in, in a lot of cases with a bunch of Divine Shields. Okay, so they're big Paladin. That should be interesting. Disc Jockey. Now, the question is, do we attack their face, then use Serrated Bone Spike, and then use the Destruction Effect on whatever they summon? Or I think that's actually what we're going to do. Oh, I guess <laughs> partially. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Okay, well, at least we can instantly pop it. We can use Disc Jockey to see what we grab. Come on, something cool. Uh, Eviscerate isn't bad. I actually almost considered running a Fizz Trait over the Disc Jockeys. Ended up going with the Disc Jockeys just because it's an additional body that you can bounce back with Breakdance. So it can act as a really good removal. Okay, just keep popping the Divine Shields. That makes our life a lot easier. Okay, okay. Because they have so many minions on board, I don't want to use Convoke the Spirits. I actually, thinking about it, don't remember what cards are in rotation right now for druid so convoke the spirits might not be a bad thing in the long run also do realize in this deck you don't really need hail at all if you can get to 10 mana and you can get to uh refresh five mana crystals you should still be able to pull off the combo but that does make it where you have to rely on getting to 10 mana and this way we we only get to eight before we can do full combo. Let's draw a few cards, see what we grab. On fishing. Oh, ho, there we go. Next turn, full combo. Let's go. Actually, probably should grab Shadow Step. We don't necessarily need Shadow Step because we do have the Breakdance and we've got six or seven mana crystals to refresh on the break of it. Let's just pop this. I, I don't really care if we put it in the deck now because by putting it in the deck now, we burn it next turn, so... Now, that legendary could be annoying because they could have a lot of minions in their hand. But, oh, audio amplifier. Wait, why are you going for audio amplifier? That, huh? Okay. Interesting. I don't think it's going to matter here because, behold, the sin of our deck. And then we go face, and then we'll show who's king in here. And we'll put them behind a jail right now. Balance back. Now we got the deck. Might as well put down Ghoulish because we can. Heal a minion. Put down the weapon. And have fun there, my friend. <laughs> they really be thinking here, but I don't think there's much they can do. Goodbye. Hey, time for a game against Rogue. Let's see what they have in store for us today. Ah. Uh, uh, Potion belts aren't that bad. I think I'm just going to keep one. We don't really need two of them. On fishing might have been something to keep. Oh, <laughs> this hand looks even worse. Okay. We can make this work, I think, though. Swashbuckler. So there's Thief Rogue. That <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen Thief Rogue. There's Breakdance. I think we're just going to pass it back. Okay, let's hope they don't hit the jackpot there. That is definitely a card that I've tested out in this deck in particular quite a few times, and it never felt that good. So that's a random effect. Could be fine. And jackpot number two. All right, let's kill that. Let's see what we randomly get. I think cool. Oh, that. Actually, is kind of cool. We can go through the deck. But we're missing Record Scratcher. Record Scratcher would be really, really nice right about now. Let's just go face. I think we can break dance, see what we randomly get here, and then attack into the 4 4. Oh, well, Fizzerate isn't that bad in the long run. Going for Tony because I always do like having the combo available. And knowing our luck, since it's at the bottom of the deck, we would be not in that good of a position. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, out of one time that card's actually good. Okay. So how do we want to do this? Let's use Gone Fishing. Record Scratcher. Perfect. Exactly what we need to see. Oh, this isn't going to work. Oh, I wish I had the draw on the last one. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, 
Can we generate a random draw off of this? There's what two two of the oh okay, we're just going face. Probably should have seen what we could have got there, but it is what it is. There's record scratcher. Oh, I actually I understand why I made that play. Because we're we want to use as many combo cards as humanly possible with the record scratcher equipped. I don't <laughs> I don't always remember the plays that I make, but sometimes I do. Alright, let's put this down. Then we can break dance it back to our hand. It's rid of the 6-5, ironically enough. Then we can use Disc Jockey. Or we could kill it with Eviscerate. But I think we're going to do that. Then pass it back. Now, the question is, we're missing essentially one card from the combo. And hopefully we won't burn it somehow. Or hopefully they don't have a way to steal it. Huh. Please, leave that up. That, that would make our life so much easier. <laughs> Ransack, that gets rid of that. And Ajara, we are at a low HP. Alright, let's use... Oh, we got two. And then we'll use both of those. Draw a card. Come on, give us something cool. Concoctor. Uh... We could just use Eviscerate just to do the damage. I kind of want to use it as a removal tool. Burn of the Ancients. That, that could be bad for us. That could be good for us, depending on what they get. Actually, I guess it couldn't really be that good. Oh. Uh, yeah, out of... The possibilities, that's one of the better ones for us, because it is just for two removal tools. Okay, so <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to be it. We actually probably should have put down Armadrillo, but then we wouldn't have had a taunt. And that's the main reason I did it like that. So we we really need to do something with their board. Ooh, eviscerate. Uh, I mean, I'd rather them hit our face just because then we mostly strike. Let's put up a taunt. Kill this eight six. There's eviscerate on that. Draw a card. See what we grab. There we go. That that works. Now the question is, can they kill us through armor? I'm almost half tempted to. Hack with the weapon and then use. Yeah, let's do this. Get Astalor down. We're going to go for the Astalor combo instead. Something that I didn't really do as much as I thought I was going to do when playtesting this deck. But uh, when it comes up, it comes up. So we still have Astolor, which is nice. We can keep armor gaining if we really feel like it, but I think we have to use this Astolor first. Hopefully it'll kill their minion. Put enough pressure on their board, and it does. Perfect, perfect. I guess we draw a card. Bounce this back, because we can. And then we can put down Astolor times two and we can have an entire board this this is definitely a game that i would have preferred to have etc in just because we could have used bounced around to keep bouncing the astrolers back okay, they're going to get us really really low with this depending on what top deck we what we really need as a top deck is a break dance i think break dance actually helps us a lot here Oh, they're bouncing that back and not Astolor. That might be a bad decision. And because they can't put down the secrets. Ooh, Ryan is actually pretty decent. Because this should guarantee us to kill that. And then we have the two Astolors in hand for next turn. Need a cheap minion just in case they have objection, though. If they have objection, we might be screwed. Depending on what we top deck. We have a few cheap minions in the deck, so. 
As long as it's lower than four cost, we'll be good. Doesn't matter what it is, just lower than four. Oh, there goes our minions. It's fine. They're at four mana, so they have enough to waste down one secret, I think. Record Scratcher isn't exactly what we wanted. Oh, I mean, we have two Astralors, so even if this whiffs, we'll still have one to win next turn. And it doesn't. Okay, okay. It's actually really, really nice. Crap four. They're at one. Oh, we're one off a of lethal. Why? Okay. Okay, they're kind of out. And they really are searching for some really good secrets. That also. Maybe we should have used the other Astral. So I have a feeling one of those is going to be out. There's three mage secrets. What are the chances? Oh, I mean, <laughs> come on, game. One face. That's all we need. We bring the fire down in here. <laughs> All right, now that we're through the games, let's discuss my final thoughts of the deck. So, while this deck is a funny return of Mill Rogue in standard Hearthstone, I don't think this one is the strongest one in the world. Across the 20 games I played with this version, I had a 45% one rate, which actually is pretty doable. You'd actually be quite shocked of how well this deck can actually pull off the combo within it. The problem is, if one of those cards gets burned, you don't have too much of a backup plan. However, late into testing, I did add ETC as a way to have a backup plan for a few different scenarios. Bounce around if you're going down a Astral or a win strategy is really good. Theotar is really good if your opponent steals your key combo piece and you really need to get it back. Test Grey Main is the final card that I added, mainly because you can generate a bunch of random cards from other classes, and this could, in theory, win you out the game. Overall, if you're a big fan of weird, wacky combos, this is the perfect deck for you. Otherwise, skip out on this one. It's just a really fun deck. It can steal a lot of wins, and most people aren't going to expect it. But like always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.